Hey there bloomers and friends, Rev Kev coming to you from the Bloom office as you probably from experience are able to recognize on your own. Anyway, here we are. It's during the day today and uh, you know Russ is here with me uh, filming, filming, videotaping uh, Bloom Tube. Chuck is out in the um, uh, administrative area and getting ready, uh, producing the bulletin. Actually, I just got my copy for this Sunday. Jim Mears is getting them ready for Jason to uh, collate tomorrow afternoon. Jim is the uh, folder stapler guy. There's a phone call, but uh, somebody else, Jim, will have to get that. I am wanting to just uh, touch base. I know I wanted to say one more thing. That was we had a great uh, reading group this morning, reading on in the uh, uh, very popular book from a few years ago called The Shack. It's very interesting how uh, from this popularized book I can talk with uh, uh, the folks in the group, uh, about half dozen of us, uh, about uh, systematic theology, systematic Christology, and today we talked about soteriology. Um, if you want to know what those are, feel free to come and join us on a uh, Wednesday at 10 o'clock from 10 until 11.15. But this Sunday is a important Sunday in the year for Bloom. This is the first Sunday of October, as you know. Well, that means that for us it is, according to our tradition, and for many years in the life of the Protestant Christian Church, we call it um, World Communion Sunday. And that stems from a time when a lot of Protestant churches didn't have communion every Sunday, every every Sunday or every first Sunday of the month, like many do now. Used to be when I was growing up, uh, you had Holy Communion once a quarter, and then on Monday Thursday. So that was in my Methodist tradition back in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. But there then came a movement that they wanted. Uh, people thought it was a good idea from a for to support Christian unity, for there to be a time when there was a Sunday when uh, people around the world were uh, called to have communion on that same Sunday so that it would be like a global movement. And so World Communion Sunday came into being. We uh, try to live that out at Bloom by having uh, a variety of breads available and uh, trying to think in terms of being global in our music. It does continue to be a part of Hispanic Awareness Month, so we continue to have our Lord's Prayer printed in Spanish for those who want to use that to uh, say the Lord's Prayer in Spanish while others say it in English. These are ways for us to connect culturally around the world. Now, the thing about it is that we have a lot of fear going around the world now. Our uh, government and, and many governments are uh, telling us to be careful and be afraid. The thing about that is that that's antithetical to our Christian faith. Uh, the, fo the first words that uh, I remember, or that I understand, the post-resurrection Jesus to say to his disciples was, be not afraid. And so I offer that, that that is um, our theme in this global time when people are getting afraid of others and acting with uh, military might, we know that in our simple faith that the call of our Christ is for us to be not afraid. So let's gather this Sunday together. We'll gather and ward off fear as we join together in Holy Communion and as we love and care for each other as bloomers and friends here at Bloomer, Bloom in the Desert Ministries UCC in Palm Springs. We hope you can be with us this Sunday. If not, please be with us in spirit. And as always, let's all keep each other in our prayers.